babies this is joy nivon welcome back to my channel and today i'm gonna show you guys how i achieve this popping full brow look okay so these are my brows without any kind of anything so the first thing i'm gonna do is i'm going to take toffee and i'm going to squeeze just a little bit i don't know if you can see that I'm going to squeeze just about that much and I'm going to take my spoolie on the other end of my brow definer and kind of brush my hairs into place I like to brush the front up and the middle to the side and the bottom down because that's just how my natural arch or natural brow shape goes. And what I like to do, like if I'm in a rush, I just, I'll just use this. But when I'm trying to be perfect or really neat, I like to just kind of dab little dots under my brow with the concealer and take a flat concealer brush I believe this is and dip it in the product and trace out my brows This way I don't use as much product because I just need it to guide me. I'm going to take chestnut and squeeze out about that much yeah squeeze out about that much and go over the top of my brow I don't use the concealer brush for this I just kind of use the um, the applicator itself and I'll go to about right here Now you could bring it down as far as you feel like it should go, which I feel like mine should be right about here. And just kind of drag it along. Like that. Now without me even filling my brow in, you can see how, you can see the shape that the brow is going to be once I do fill it in. You can see that it's already cleaned up. It's already just neat and just it just needs to be darkened. So that's what we're gonna do. I have longer eyebrows, so mine is going to start right about here towards the bridge of my nose, which is here. And it's going to stop right about here, as it should. That's where it's supposed to stop. Now this is the part where you take your brow definer or your whatever you want to use, your print, your pencil, your whatever, but this is when you take the brow definer at the angled tip and I just like to use short strokes. I don't focus here yet, I just start from the middle. And using this you would just that's all you would do all the way down to here you would just color it in like back to kindergarten filling in coloring in the lines that's all you would be doing and you can see right here how dark it is or defined <laughs> defined <laughs> it is here compared to in the front and 
at the end. So from here, I'm going to take my angled brush and dip it. You get it on both sides and you do the same thing as you would with the definer or with a pencil or whatever. You just fill it in. Now with the product left on the angled brush, I just like to take my hairs and brush them up. This is the part where I just blend out the concealer and then I would put foundation on and then all of that and then my brows would just kind of disappear into my makeup. Just like that, you can see the difference. Not filled, filled. Not filled, slaying, okay? At this point, you just want to take the spoolie end of your definer or just a regular spoolie and brush the hairs up and blend in all that filled product that you used. This is what's going to make everything just gel together and blend perfectly. I'm going to use the Santee Brow Mascara. This product or a eyebrow gel product is going to keep your brow hairs in place all day so that you don't have to worry about them now these this is crucial for me because since i do have thick brows they move a lot so this is what's going to set them in place it has like a mascara tip to it so you just want to lightly brush the front and then brush the rest of your brow. I have to be very careful with this because it does dry quickly. So you have to move swiftly. And it is brown, so it is going to darken my brow as well. don't want your eyebrow gel to be a color they do sell clear eyebrow gels and that is the finished brow look I hope you guys liked it if you did please make sure you give me a big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe so I can see you in my next video bye